When I was in high school, I thought I wanted to be an air traffic controller. When I was in high school, I wanted to be a DNR officer, but I found my career in the automotive industry. There are more cars and trucks on the road today than ever before, and it takes a lot of skilled professionals to keep all those vehicles moving. Whether under the hood or on the showroom floor, the automotive industry offers career opportunities wherever there are roads. My name is Mike. I work at Donlinger Chevrolet. I'm a service technician. Donlinger Chevrolet Cadillac Hyundai is a full-service auto dealer in Baxter, Minnesota. In addition to new and used vehicle sales and service, Dondlinger also has a full parts department, finance, and leasing operations. Each department employs people with a wide variety of skills who work together as a team to make the dealership successful. You could be doing a brake job one day and timing chains the next day, or you could be doing it all on the same day. Sometimes you gotta work on something, order parts, so you might not be able to work on that vehicle right away, but it's something you'll have to do later. I get to work, set up my work area, see if I have any new repair orders. After that, I'll talk to service advisor, maybe see what's going on on my schedule, get a plan for the day. We get a lot of walk-ins, so you never know what you're gonna get. I grew up in Motley. I always had an interest in vehicles when I was growing up. I started out in the quick loop here, and once I got to the shop, it was a little stressful at first, but once I started working on stuff and the satisfaction of fixing someone's vehicle and getting it back on the road, that's when I knew that this is what I wanted to do. It takes a lot of reading and studying to understand how different systems work. And before you can fix something, you have to understand how it works. It's a fun atmosphere to work in, kind of self-paced, and it's always changing, You're never doing the same thing every day. People don't realize how big the auto industry is. I think one out of seven people in the United States works in the auto industry. Well, that seems like a big number, and it is a big number, but you gotta remember, someone makes the radio, someone makes the windshield, someone makes the tires, someone makes the wheels, someone makes the paint, somebody paints the cars, and there's so many opportunities in the car business. So we're on the retail side of it, where we, you know, fill people's needs and get them into cars they want or your car is broken or needs maintenance. Working at a dealership doesn't have to mean becoming a service technician or salesperson. There are automotive career paths for accountants, marketing and finance professionals too. I'm Corey. I'm the finance manager here at Donlinger Automotive in Baxter, Minnesota. I went to high school in Pequot Lakes. The greatest thing about my job is there's something new that happens every day and I get to be a part of it. My job is focused on uh, quality and control on all the numbers and car deals that go through the dealership. Making sure that the salespeople on the show floor are doing the paperwork properly and also that all the numbers are correct. You have to love cars, you have to love people, you have to love building relationships with people. What I love most about the job is I'm active, uh, there is attention to detail, I have a sense of pride when I have paperwork go through that doesn't have one mistake. There's a lot that goes along with finance. There's a lot of numbers involved and it's pretty exciting to know that there's 35 papers where you don't have one mistake. In Minnesota, there are more than 6,800 auto service centers and about 1,500 dealerships, which means there is a lot of opportunity for qualified service technicians. The automotive service career ladder starts with lube techs, then come maintenance and light repair technicians. With more experience and training, you can become a certified auto technician, a certified advanced specialist, or service manager. It's a big decision to decide what you're going to do when you're 17 years old, what you want to do for the rest of your life. Um, the good thing about the car business is, is that you can get in it and start doing this and like a lot of these younger people start out detailing cars. You learn a lot about cars, you learn a lot about problems with cars, um, but you also learn that, geez, I'd really like to do that job, or I'd like to be in sales, or I'd like to be in parts. I started in the quick loop, and then I became a service tech, and one day I hope to become certified diesel technician, or maybe even a master technician. One thing that's available in the car business is that there isn't a pecking ladder by how old you are. It doesn't matter how many years you've worked here. It's kind of like sports. Um, if you're the best, you'll get there. When I first started here, I was an accounts payable and titling clerk, and now I've recently moved up to being an accountant, all while I'm getting my four-year degree in accounting. 
I started here as a uh, quick lube technician and moved up to the quick lube manager and writer and now I'm currently moved all the way up to a service advisor. There is an 11-month training program in automotive technology at Central Lakes College in Brainerd. It's designed to build a foundation of basic knowledge for a career as a service technician. You may even be eligible for scholarships to help fund your studies. The careers in automotive technology today are very high tech. So those are the people we would like to attract, the people with all of the computer skills. We use laptops to troubleshoot the computers on the car. And a car today could have as many as 30 or 40 different modules on it that communicate with a, a piece of equipment. My advice to a high school student right now uh, planning on attending automotive would be take as much science as you can take, be uh, proficient in algebra, Electricity basically is algebra, and electricity is our mainstay in automotive right now, so there's a lot of math. Reading and comprehension is another big thing. Employment outlook is high. They can't find enough people. You'll be able to find a job in the industry and work your way up, but you're gonna start towards the bottom and have to work your way up. Once you have demonstrated proficiency in areas, they will continue moving you up. As a high school student, it's important to start preparing now for your future career. Ask your school counselor about courses and other opportunities that will help you learn more about automotive careers. You gotta be proud of yourself, you gotta be proud of your job, you gotta be proud of where you work, you know, you gotta be proud of the work that you do. So I think that's a very important thing and I think you gotta wanna win. Choosing a career and educational path after high school is one of the most important decisions you can make. In a time of life when there are more questions than answers, the Bridges Career Academies and Workplace Connection provides information about education and career pathways and gives you the tools you need to make a smart choice, one that's right for you and right for your future. To learn more, visit bridgesconnection.org.